Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is him, me again here in Beijing and today I am in a place in the city that I have never been to before. The place was actually recommended to me by one of the channel viewers and he said to me that I would not regret taking the time out to visit this absolutely wonderful place which also has a very strong place in Chinese history. And I can tell you that he was absolutely correct. It is all that and more. So if you want to find out where I am today, then stay tuned. Welcome back and thank you for sticking around. So let me give you a little clue where I am today. Um, so in a previous video, I was at the outstandingly beautiful Summer Palace and you can see that if you follow the link up here. So can you guess where I am today? Today, I am in the original Summer Palace. Well, to be honest, what is left of it? Because today I am in the ruins of the old Summer Palace and that in itself, is a very sad story. So this is Lisa sitting in a chair with what is and has to be one of the best views in the park. A view of a tree. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Ice cream. <laughs> oh. Is it good? It's hard. Stop taking photographs to help the lad. <laughs> so the old summer palace is also known as Yuan Ming Yuan Park and it used to be the most splendid royal garden. It was often called the Garden of All Gardens. And the famous writer Victor Hugo once described it and he wrote, In a corner of the world, it is one of the wonders of the world, the miracle that is called the Old Summer Palace. However, a fire destroyed the Grand Garden with its splendid buildings, taking away its glory and only leaving behind the ruins and what was once again a very sad moment in the history for the marauding British and the French Allied forces. So let me tell you about that. How peaceful is it? It's perfect weather. Mm. <laughs> what is that? Sausage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Do you want to try? No, I don't think I do. <laughs> uh, a little bit of wind. However, um, so the old summer palace 
was known as the masterpiece garden of the Qin dynasty. The old original summer palace actually was built as a gift for the Gangxi emperor's fourth son, who I believe was called Yong Cheng. Now the park is huge. It's uh, an area of about 1.3 or 1.4 square miles, which is about nine times the size of the Forbidden City and the gardens around the Forbidden City. The old summer palace is near the new, more modern summer palace, the place that I've showed you before. And the both palaces or parks are situated at the northwest of the Beijing city. So northwest of the city. So huh, let me get back to tell you the story of the allied destruction of some of the temples here in the park. Hmm. I don't have that much hair though. You do. You have more than me. <laughs> so the Old Summer Palace was known by European travellers of that time as the Versailles of the East, but its glory and beauty ceased to be in about 1860. You may be asking what happened in 1860. Well, let me explain. During the Second Opium War, the British and the French troops invaded Beijing and then they ransacked the old summer palace and looted the treasures which are now displayed in museums around the world. And then after the looting, they set fire to this beautiful palace. It is said that the fire lasted for three days and nights and that almost all the buildings were burnt down. Only the crumbling marble buildings that you see behind me here, the splendour and the magnificence of the old summer palace disappeared in this fire. So yet again, the British leave a legacy that is not that positive. So this is the maze and it's uh, modelled on a very typical western garden. So huh? So there you have it, not a fantastic legacy left yet again by British people across the world. But the amazing thing is that today I am visiting the park during an autumn day and the colours of the surrounding areas, the trees are just stunningly beautiful. And when you see the beautiful blue sky, then you are able to see the actual park in all its stunning splendour. So I hope you enjoy and maybe show you some more with you now and then I'll catch you at the end. So this was um, one of the main buildings here in the, um, the old summer palace and I think when I was coming in the entrance I saw the scale model of this which I'll share with you now and uh, it was would have been splendid, spectacular in the day but obviously now it is not in its best condition, thank you. The marauding British and the French, typical. So this is the one that's in textbooks, yeah? That's, so this is the main building, yeah? Got
So I hope you've enjoyed the trip round the Old Summer Palace. This is Ian, as always, signing out with the usual. Peace out, take care, catch you in the next video.